Winona is rich in history and heritage. During the Ice Age, much of North America was covered by glaciers. The meltwater from these layers of ice carved out the river valley out of the soft limestone and dolomite bedrock. In the early 1800s, the Dakota Indians settled on a sandbar. The site became their summer home and eventually their year-round home. The city of Winona reflects its Dakota heritage in its name. According to legend, Winona was a Dakota woman who jumped to her death from Maiden Rock overlooking Lake Pepin because she had not been allowed to marry in the Indian brave of her choice, and her statue is found in Wyndham Park. Within two years of its founding, in 1851, Winona was a full-fledged river town with a population of 300. Settlers from the east and immigrants from Europe journeyed up the Mississippi to Winona. Railroads were built to improve access to the river for grain shipments. In 1862, Winona and St. Peter Railroad was constructed west from Winona. River traffic increased as towboats transported lumber from northern Wisconsin forests to Winona. 1870 to 1900 was Winona's golden age. Businessmen got rich on agriculture, wheat, and transportation businesses. Many of the mansions they built remain as do the contributions of these financial barons. Because of its Victorian architecture, Winona also has a thriving stained glass industry and was dubbed the stained glass capital of the nation. In next week's podcast, we'll take you to the Winona County Historical Museum, where you can find out more information about Winona County's history.